Hi, this is Billy Bean here with a U.S. News update. Today's date, September 17, 2024 time, about 11 a.m. in Texas. Some of the things we'll cover are what's going on from the sky, um, a recent pipeline explosion in Texas, an earthquake, what's going on in Springfield, Ohio, plus... Now I have this uh, from a Patriot subscriber who lived in South Africa for 23 years who said they had three trained guard dogs, German Shepherds, for 23 years and they had no burglaries. Yeah, German Shepherds uh, make good guard dogs. Thanks for sharing that with us. Okay, we have from the National Hurricane Center, truck tropical depression gordon currently at 35 miles per hour barometric 1006 moving forward three miles per hour west and is predicted to turn toward europe and may become a tropical storm on thursday and we have this from space weather and suspicious observers we had a recent X-Flare 4.5 that last night, about 8 p.m., September 16, produced a G4 storm with a KP of 8. Auroras were seen as low in the U.S. as the Texas Panhandle. And we have upcoming this weekend a G1 from some recent sun activity. And now we have this. We had uh, yesterday about uh, 8 p.m. last night near Ackerley, Texas, a 5.1 earthquake in Texas that was um, about 5.2 miles deep. Uh, the uh, earthquake was felt as far uh, north as dallas and as far south as san antonio it's the seventh strongest earthquake to hit in texas and also yesterday september uh, september 16 at about 10 a.m in the morning we had a pipeline explosion near houston in a suburb laporte texas uh, immediately, the company that handles pipelines, Energy Transfer, shut off the natural gas supply, but the pipeline has fiercely been burning uh, with flames in the air of several hundred feet, has been burning off the remains of the natural gas that was in the line before it was shut off there has been an evacuation in the area between luella and canada streets and spencer highway citizens or uh, many citizens cannot return to their homes yet so there's the pipeline explosion with flames hundreds of feet into the air surrounded by houses the houses are currently being watered down by local uh, multiple fire departments. Now, Energy Transfer does have a help line. If citizens want to call to find out when they can return to their homes or file claims for damages, several uh, cars and trucks were destroyed at the time of the explosion the phone number is 855-430-4491 i'll also list that in the description we have multiple hazmat uh, teams uh, led by harris county we have multiple fire departments operating under a government protocol called Unified Command. We have a command center uh, staged at a local Walmart in Laporte, Texas. Uh, and here, Centerpoint personnel are evaluating 
infrastructure damage. We also have representatives of energy transfer uh, that coordinated the pipelines. We have the Harris County hazmat team, hazmat teams from other surrounding areas and fire departments. The Deer Park uh, Fire Department and police are handling the west side of the explosion and Laporte is handling the east side. So that's going on. And now we have this. We have a text from the Texas Tribune. Uh, Governor Greg Abbott of Texas has signed a proclamation making the Venezuelan gangs inside Texas, designating Trend Aragua, a Venezuelan gang, as a terrorist group, and has set up a strike plan uh, to be uh, coordinated uh, by the Department of Public Safety and include a teams made up of Texas Highway Patrol, SWAT teams, helicopters, dogs, and Texas Rangers. Now, most likely this team will strike soon in El Paso, Texas, described as a hotbed for these Venezuelan gangs. Now, across the U.S., there have been 100 investigations into activities by the Venezuelan gangs. And in uh, New York, on Saturday, two New York police officers were shot by the Venezuelan gangs. So we see designating them as a terrorist group is appropriate. And now we have this. We have uh, what's going on with that shooting uh, that happened, uh, that try number two on President Trump that happened Sunday. And uh, information is coming out from Hal Turner, Stephen Gardner, and other sources. The fall guy, and that's how I see him, uh, Ryan Wesley Rout, 58 years old, white male has about 20 felonies, but apparently was uh, uh, supported by a U.S. NGO to go to Ukraine, I believe in the last couple of years, to activate to U.S. volunteers or volunteers from other nations to go to Ukraine to fight for Ukraine. Now, he had an X account and a Facebook account that have since been scrubbed on which he supported uh, uh, KH, Bernie Sanders, Black Lives Matter, and Ukraine. And Stephen Gardner brings out to documentation that this fall guy, Ryan Wesley Rout, had donated 20 times to the Dem Party. Now, what happened early Sunday morning, President Trump was golfing on his international golf course, and uh, this individual, Wesley Ryan Rout, so the, we have the golf course, we have a chain link fence with bushes along it, Secret Service uh, did not uh, secure the perimeter of the golf course. And this individual, uh, Rout, uh, came behind the bushes. He had with him a AK-47 with a scope on it and two backpacks. And we understand now the backpacks contained floor tiles, which we understand can be stacked to be used as a base for the gun, to steady the gun and also a GoPro camera. And then he poked the gun through the chain link fence and apparently was seen by Secret Service. Now, we're to believe this individual route fired four to eight shots 
two to three hundred feet from President Trump and missed. And the Secret Service returned fire to this individual two to three hundred feet away from President Trump, or it could have been yards. Some reports are yards. And the Secret Service also missed. Then the individual got into a black vehicle. Now, there was a witness who took a picture of the black vehicle and the license plate, gave it to law enforcement, and this individual route uh, stayed on freeways and went to an adjacent county, Martin County, and he was tracked because they knew his license plate number. They could track him with cameras that are on the freeways, and he stayed on the freeways and was arrested. So, yeah, that's going on. Now, new information is coming out. Both of the fall guys in uh, recent attempts on President Trump's life, crooks in the July 13 try and this rout in the September 16 try, both appeared since 2020 in commercials put out by BlackRock. Now, BlackRock is an international corporation, uh, most likely worth a trillion dollars, uh, widely believed to represent the interest of the deep state. Now, in that shooting on July 13 in Butler, PA, the building on which Crooks, the fall guy, allegedly took shots, was owned by BlackRock. So, do we believe in coincidence? No, we don't. But we do believe in incriminating evidence. And now we have this. What's going on in Springfield, Ohio? My perception is Springfield, Ohio. Oh, it must be a hotbed of white Christians who are opposed to the Dems. Because we have an American citizen population of 60,000. The JB and KH show flew in to Springfield, Ohio. 20,000 Haitians. And now we have this going on. We have uh, the U.S. Marines have gone into uh, Springfield, Ohio. They had received, the U.S. military had received 11 uh, believable accounts of pet napping and that the Haitians were eating cats and dogs. So the Marines went in. And what the Marines uh, could see was many flyers up about missing pets, but also could verify there are also reports of missing children. So the Marines uh, are stayed on focus about the cats and dogs and saw a lot of flyers about missing pets, cats and dogs, but also one missing four-foot python snake. And uh, this individual's home had a glass broken. Uh, the intruder came in, took the snake out of his snake cage. Snakes stay in like glass enclosures that are climate controlled. And the Marines' boots on the ground were able to verify that the American citizens in Springfield, Ohio, are very frightened. And now what's going on with the local police? The Marines uh, took up uh, uh, their stand in a local park, Snyder Park, and the Marines observed two Haitians uh, capturing a goose out of the local lake decapitating the goose, drinking the red fluid inside the goose's body, then grilling the goose with feathers on and eating it. 
stripping naked and taking a swim in the local lake. The Marines advised the local Clark County Sheriff's Department where their multiple phone calls were met with click. We don't want to hear anything about the Haitians. And now we have this. So we have then the Marines interacting with local citizens and local police who said they had stand down orders coming all the way from the governor's office that would be Mike DeWine who apparently is also a rhino and is taking orders from the dim controlled U.S. government and uh uh, reports also are coming out that the uh, FBI went to Springfield, Ohio and are putting up billboards written in the Haitian language and Creole advising the Haitians, the illegals, of how they can contact the FBI to report any hate crimes against the Haitians by the American citizens in Springfield, Ohio. Now we have a report from Christopher Rufo of the Manhattan Institute of Policy and Research, and his research has verified that Haitians in Springfield, Ohio, are indeed eating cats. So we have that going on. We have the, now we have this from Daily Mail that the Ohio governor, Mike DeWine, has uh, said, he, and he describes President Trump's claims as fake news. Can we say Mike DeWine must be a rhino? But he has said the state of Ohio will uh, provide additional protection for schools in Springfield, Ohio. And since last week, the schools in Springfield, Ohio and other government buildings have received 33 bomb threats, some of them from outside the U.S., so we see the U.S. military, the U.S. Marines going to Springfield, Ohio to protect American citizens. We see the FBI going to Springfield, Ohio to protect the illegals, the Haitians. So that's going on. And now a short prayer. I'll use a modified version of General Patton's World War II weather prayer. And we ask, Father, that you give us good weather for battle, that you guide us from victory to victory, and that you crush our enemies, domestic, foreign, and off-world. And we say thank you, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, who many call Yeshua, and God the Holy Spirit. I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there. Continue to pray. God is in charge, and he is on the move. I love you, and I'll see you soon.